What's up, boys and girls? Welcome back to another uh, episode of the Bradwell Conspiracy. I just turned off and on my game, and here we go. I'm out of the water because I was stuck on the last episode. So, oh, there are some planks here. Let's claim these, shall we? Uh, there was another. Nope. Not it. Ah, yuck. Yep. Yep. Ugh, yep. What a mess. Sorry, you have to fix those pipes. I'll keep an eye out for some soap. And deodorant. Uh, there's another one there, but it doesn't seem like I can really use that right now. I see. Can I? Oh, I just got. Oh, I see. Okay, all right. So from here, I'll just wait. Here we go. Can I reach the other pipe here. All right, sweet. Gonna get that one as well. Cool. Can I reclaim this pipe already or yes. Okay, can I clean this one as well? Pretty please? Oh no, this is the one I need to connect it to. Okay, never mind that's Alright, so looks like I've got everything I need from here. Let's get back. Reclaim all of these while we're at it, because we're gonna need them. We're gonna need at least seven pipes. That's what they were saying. So Got them! The CO2 filters! Ugh. They're super heavy. Need to look for some wheels. Alright, let's start a quarter circle. Here we go. This is the pipes we need to connect. Oh, so... Oh, wait. What? Then Do we need to go... Really? We need to go that close to them? Oh, God. Hold up. Alright. So let me just rotate this. Boom. That's one of them. Let's connect this all the way out there. I don't have any straight tubes, so this is how... Things are going to be played out. Uh, let's see. Here, connect it. Perfect. Uh, we need to get closer to it, don't we? Alright, ladder, please. Don't let me down. Oh my god. Ah, oh, whew. Alright. <laughs> I found a shopping cart. Um, I found a shopping cart? Why would they have a... no overthinking, Amber? Eyes on the prize. Can I place a tube all the way from here? No, I cannot. All right. Uh, looks like I need to build my a little walkway here. All right. Can I place a tube from here? Uh, pipe. Uh, no, I can't reach there. All right. So another plank. It is. Place a pipe like this. We'll just get onto this side here. Uh, I can't really place a pipe while I'm in the way, I guess. Uh, gosh darn it. Oh, can I? Hold up. Oh, yeah, I can, yeah. Uh, like this? Then... Back at the CO2 extraction equipment. This Going could take upwards. a little while, but I think we're looking good. Oh god damn, I just need one more piece. Hold up. Then just connect it. Oh my god. Turn. That way. Perfect. Alright. Water flow in pump room 3 restored. Pumps have been reactivated. Look at you, fixing it. Awesome. Now go get those algae pods installed. I'm nearly done with reconnecting the CO2 supply. Wait. Warning. Moisture detected. SMP function offline. Oh, yeah. About the SMP and water? Use of the SMP and water will result in burns, electric shocks, numbness, skin lesions, hyperactivity, and hair loss. They kind of don't like each other. Or they like each other too much. One of the two. Okay. Looks like we got the pipe situation all fixed up. Let's go back to the... Now we need to deal with the algaes. Uh, 
Uh, what's here? Nano separation, selective purification of water. Right, okay. Uh, ooh, a Rubik's, cu uh, Rubik's cl uh, cube. Mm, classic puzzle. Uh, let's see. There's nothing here for me to do. Oh, this is just for me to get across? Okay. Alright, let's go deal with them algae, shall we? Uh, wait, where's the... Wait a minute. Install three algae pods. Where do I install these? Uh, yeah, honestly, where do I install those? Uh, it's missing from up. Oh, it's missing from up here. Okay. How do I get up there? Uh, then. Oh, do I just install them in here? Algae pods? Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah. Hold up. Uh, let's see. What? Right there. Uh, that doesn't seem to be the case. I'm guessing that's where water and algae get mixed together before going into the actual photobioreactor. Yeah. Uh, how do I place... How do I get up there? Weird. Please! Uh, that wasn't one I wanted to... Down there? Does that have something to do with these massive things? No. Alright, honestly. How do I place them there? Here, cereal. Uh. Algae pods. Uh, I can place them in the floor, but doesn't really seem to be much use. Wait, can I go up up there? Through here? Oh, please say I can. Oh, maybe through here. Hold up. Get plank. Oh, wait. I need to get... Let me get this back. Okay, I have three units, so we can do the three algae pods things. Alright, here we go. Algae pods... Uh -huh. Bam. Perfect. Nice. Install algae pods. Check. Who doesn't love a tick next to a list item? So beautiful. Good news! I fixed the CO2 supply and connected the hydrogen fuel cells to the main grid. You know what this means. We can try starting the reactor again. So stop whatever you're doing and head back to the photobioreactor control room. That startup button isn't going to push itself. Already on it. Bam! Great. Here we go. All systems are looking good. Not seeing any red air boxes so far. Looks like our work here is done. Ugh, what now? Not again! No, fix the pipe! Fix the pipe, quick! What, what pipe? <coughs> this stuff is getting into the <coughs> delation system. <coughs> Hurry! What pipe? Uh, which pipe are you talking about? Oh, th wait, this one? Yeah, <laughs> definitely this one, massive one on the floor, yep. 
Here we go. What? It can't. God, it. But what the how? fuck? Wait. The SMP, but. But I thought. This. This is very bad. Fuel cells fully charged. Power to clean water and energy research restored. Forget what you saw. We need to go. Head to the service elevators now. Okay, what the frick was that? That's some dust here on the floor. Uh, what's happening? Was this something I did? All right. Come on, it's too dangerous here. We gotta go. I'm going. I'm, I'm going. in one of the service elevators. Connection lost. Uh oh. All right, I'm here. What the hell was that? Was that like a portal or something? To another dimension, maybe? We're in the medical... Hey, you... Where am you I? You okay? Now, that was... <sighs> anyway. Yeah. We've made it to medical. Let's find the evac stations and get out of here. Right, finding the evac stations. Okay. Is there a map of this area somewhere? No, just I'll do it the old-fashioned way. Exploring. Certainly not this way. Seems very. It looks like more storage than the medical, to be honest. Yes, he's got some gurneys, but ah, oh, this. Welcome much to the nicer. medical center. Emergency care on the ground floor. GP offices and observation rooms on the first floor. See the metaphorical ivory tower. Guess whose offices are up there. Starts with Mel and ends with Issa. Oh, 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 I know this. Melissa. <laughs> okay, let's see. Drug solubility. Improving solubility of poorly water solu soluble, soluble uh, molecules. All right, sounds like a fun read in the afternoon. Oh, it's very nice and relaxing around here. Okay, we have to find the vac station. Where is that? Right here. Oh, this is number four, though. Is this the one? Hello? Dr. Amber? She's in the laundry room. What the hell is she doing in the laundry room? Uh... uh I'm here. Nice evac station. The one over here is super small and contains way more spiders than I really want. So, let's take a look at this. How do we make it go? Oh, great. Here's a surprise. Problems with pod tracks in the tunnels. Hang on, I'll show you. See the red lines? Those are broken track connections. And the orange one needs rerouting, otherwise I'll be stuck. Looks like you're right next to tunnel entrances, so congrats. You're in charge of track repairs. Wait, before you go, can you send me a photo of your pod? Of my pods? What, this one? Yeah. Oh, wow. Your pod looks like an all-you-can-eat buffet after lunch. All the good stuff is already taken. You know what? Let me worry about the spare parts for your pod. You just make sure to get the tracks all fixed up. No tracks, no pods, no exit. What do you mean tracks? Like these trucks running off of the floor here? I mean, uh, doesn't really look like this diagram here, but uh, how do I fix it? Ah, it's another problem for me to solve, I guess. Uh, how we just go around, repair, repair tracks in the evac tunnels. I guess we have to go underneath and check what's up with those tunnels, eh? But first, let me just go check the upstairs. Ooh, a lot of green zores around here. Uh, Dr. Lucia Rova. Hello? Oh, something I can take. Bam. Just collected myself a trophy. Fundamentals of Neuroscience. Okay, so, I think the static printers in the evac stations, they customize the pods based on individual requirements of patients and staff. Once I've accessed the printers, I should be able to figure out which blueprint parts we need for your pod. Okay, we need parts, alright. Could have started with that, though, right? Think, leaving me out here wondering how am I gonna fix those trucks by myself. Patient observation. What can I take from here? <laughs> Nothing here. 
Ah, it's empty. Uh, another observation room. Anything here? No. Okay. Sounds like a waste of my time. Uh, Dr. Lawrence Chase. Dr. Chase from House, how do you do? Oh, there's another trophy here. Can I take it? No. Okay. Fine, Dr. Chase, you keep your bad dead trophy. Oh, there is some stuff here I can take, though. Excuse me. Oh, wait. I need to place a trophy here. Aha. One unit for two. Nice. Okay, can I see into this? Yes, I can. Just like that. It's easy. <laughs> From Dr. Macy Farnham. Okay, I'm not sure what happened in, What happened exactly. We just know the guy we have down here was working on the tracks, um, replacing some old ones with Brad William Wards. How the fate Wards. of our escape depends on a screwdriver? Asking for a friend. Anyway, how are you getting on? Everything okay? Yeah, just reading uh, the latest gossip. Or uh, office gossip. Jumping through emails and whatnot. Uh, in the meantime, it seemed that Nick Paletti from the research division had decided to jump in one of those pods and make a break for it. I need you to go in and have a chat with him. He's in patient observation one. He keeps saying something's going to happen this evening that the nodes told him. We've given him a mild sedative to settle him a bit, but I think he needs to talk to someone. Nick is very is a very stable and logical guy. It doesn't seem like him to go off the rails like this. Off the rails? Okay. <laughs> nice. Uh, plus, with the rumors, he could very well have heard something. Uh, oh, there was another email, though. I'm sorry. Uh, from Clive Hanslow. Hmm, I wonder who this guy is. I know some members of staff are known to go down to the tunnels for a smoke. We're going to gloss over the rule breaking. However, important maintenance work is taking place on the evac tracks today. So if you want to avoid getting hit by fast moving overhead vehicle, I recommend steering clear of the area. I guess he's like a supervisor or something. Private wing. Guess we can't really go there. All right, let's go check these tracks, shall we? Let's do a bit of maintenance. That's what we're good here for. Fix, fixing things, putting things back together, I guess. Right, it's kind of nice. This very hospitality feel feeling. Room one, room one. Lights evacuate. Patient care. Someone in there. Can't really go in here at the moment. Uh, patient care number one. Oh, there's a guide here from Mark Payne. Access. Mr. Payne, your medical records show that you've been ordered bed rest for the next two days. I will do such rest later. Uh, oh, nice. Jackpot. And some boots to... Boots. <laughs> uh, nothing else in there. Oh, uh, what's the tablet say? From John Hegarty. Urgent job assistant assignment medical sector. Oh, hi. Oh, hey, Mark. We've got an urgent job in medical sector. The tunnels down there need some maintenance, spe specifically on the rails for the evac system. An order came down from the on high, on high to make sure it's intense use ready. I don't know what the hell they're planning, or if there has been some health and safety protocol update, update again. Either way, it needs sorting out. I've gone ahead and assigned yes! an SMP for you Screw and a lot of screwdrivers. Long live the butter knife. Of substance. I should keep this in case there are other screws ahead, or butter. If you need more units, just ping me on the G, and I'll get some more sent to you. So it looks like they were getting ready for something. Could they know the catastrophe was about to hit? Huh. Sounds like an inside job. Uh, James Williams, Sunday Games. Can't do Sunday, I'm afraid, mate. I've been asked to keep the day clear for some work. A load of us have, actually. We've been promised a long weekend in lieu, though, so I'm not complaining. Plus, whatever it is has given me clearance to the base mine area. Get me a gold spelunking hat and call me Trevor. Uh, Jim, Sunday, board games, we can order in some beers from upstairs and try that quest again, you know, now that we actually know how to calculate the defense rolls properly. 
All right, seems like uh, they hired lots of people to do some kind of job, maintenance job, ahead of something bad happening, you know? So it's kind of suspicious. All right, can we check in here? No, I guess not. All right, go. Well, actually, I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go now. Can we go into that area? No. Uh, go into maintenance again? That is the infirmary. Is there any way of me going go there now, or is that possible? No, it's completely locked off. Okay. So how the hell do I get to the the evac bits? Private wing seems closed off still. Huh. Hold up. I'm gonna try the infirmary once again. Uh. Hmm. These static printers. They aren't on the regular server system. I may be here a while. How's everything your end? Any luck with those tracks? Plants and urgent care centers are weird. Oh, no lucks with the tracks though. I like I can't even find them to be honest with you. Uh, can I? Oh, I can head down here now. Okay, all right, that makes that makes more sense. This is a big staircase. Farewell, staircase. Not sure. Always wear hard hats. Spread well together for better tomorrow. So we're at Tunnel C. Completely flooded. Remember, we can't use our SPM in the water. Yikes. Bad news. The static printers are a dead end for now. They can't connect to the blueprint storage server. Let's hope this just needs a good old turn it off and on again. We got a big evac truck. I mean, sure we'll... they have a boat here as well. <laughs> Obviously, they were prepared, or I've always have have the tunnels always been flooded like this. Okay, we have seven units though. Can we reach all the way across? Use gates when transporting large loads. Okay. All right. I guess we have to build a bridge. Can we start from here, or Is that too much to ask? Can we? Oh, from... from here? Alright, I think so. Yeah, let me place this. Uh, these don't really match to each other, but... Uh, wait, maybe they do. Uh, can we place this perfectly? Yes, partial success. I recovered the internal data cache from the printer. Should have thought about it sooner. It's uh -huh. my design! Guess I'll not. have something on the blueprints in a few minutes. Let me know if you need help with anything. Nah, uh, it uh, looks like I'm good. Ah, oh, come on. I mean, it's going slightly... Uh, keeps going up, but... Can I take this one? No, I can't. Uh... Hey. You. Oh god, can I... I wish they would fit in though. That would be so much better. Oh, are you serious? We can't reach here. You... How am I gonna get. This looks ridiculous as well. Uh, how am I gonna get to the other arm? Or... Back up. Come on. You must be going about it the wrong way. Uh. Oh, I know. Let's check the other. Uh, let's check the other side, shall we? Because there were two entrances to these tunnels. So this is one of them. Right. Get on the. Freaking ladder, please. Okay. And we'll check the other sides. Maybe... 
there's somewhere we can uh, proceed from there. Okay. Oh, never mind. That's it's completely closed off. Okay, that's a bit of a bummer. Sorry, my bad. So how the hell do we traverse the situation now? Uh, a bunch of pods here. Holy crap! What the heck happened down there? Couldn't have been the explosion, could it? I'm not sure, darling, uh, but... Oops. Really sorry, but I don't get it. Yeah, me neither. Uh... How do I get here? There's a boat. Nice! Is what I would say if I understood what you're trying to tell me. Sorry. I'm trying to tell you is how the frick did I get there? Uh... Okay, we can place some like ah, uh, we can place these ones like so, but uh, not really. That doesn't really do it for me, you no. Know? Uh, I don't know, man. I don't get it. Yeah, me neither. Let's try. No, oh, actually, why? Is it... Let's just swim. God damn it! Let's just swim a little bit. See where this leads. Oh my god! Why am I such? Sometimes you try to think. Hey, I've got a list of the parts we need for your pod. First one is obvious, the lid section. Pretty darn crucial so you don't fall out. Second is the evac control unit, the pod's onboard computer. I'm gonna go look for them now. You stay on track. <laughs> oh, Amber. All right. I'm gonna lead up to that thingy. Just place one on top. There you go. Perfect. Can I collect some of this? Uh, if I may be able to get out. But oh, then it needs another one. Hold up. There you go. Partial track connection re-established. Parts of the required tracks are still disconnected. Oh. Please continue the repair. Woohoo! One part of the tracks is connected up. According to the map, that's two more to go. Okay. I'm just gonna have to take these pieces back. Oh my god. Come on, just collect it. Alright, perfect. Let's make our way across and then we'll connect these two parts. Oh, there's a like a, like a turny, turning one. Mmm, that is no good. Yeah, let me take this one back. Uh, yeah. What's this? Water pump? Can I press it? What happens here? They're draining the water? Oh, wait, no! The boat! Damn it! Come back! I just come back. Alright. Alright, let me just check what's uh, on this side here first. And then we'll go and see where this boat will take us. There's a bunch of glow sticks. Nice. Make a party up in here. 
Oh, this is where the other part leads. Okay. I'm just gonna grab that substance. That brick. Go. And then go back. Perfect. Okay, now we'll get on the boat, see what's on the other side. Bing, bang, boom. We solved this puzzle as well. Risk of fire flammable items. Okay. Uh, what's this? There's a ladder here? Wait, how do I get on the boat? Hold up. Like so. How would you manage it? Oh, but then... I'm gonna press it and then... Run! Perfect. Oh, look at this. A nice joy ride. I hope we can get back, though. Oh, there's a part missing here. There you go. Another one here. Is this still going? Yeah, a bit slower. Oh, this one takes three parts. Damn. Hey. Partial track connection re-established. Parts of the required tracks are still disconnected. Please continue the repair. Yes, two parts of the track connected up. Just one more and we can get the heck out of here. There's another blueprint here. Oh, curved evac track. Sweet! And uh, there's a guide there as well. Someone. This. Nick Poletti. Dr. Poletti, the latest Narek study reports are ready for your review. Alright. Looks like a bunch of doors just opened up. We just need to figure out where the hell those are. Find the ladder here. Thank you. Please, please, please. Yes. All right. Let's get the curved uh, one and place it right there. Perfect. Evac tracks have been repaired. Please Sweet. consider immediate evacuation. Hey, I think I know how to find the blueprints for your pod, but I need your help. Go to the research wing, research lab two. Oh, and collect as much substance as you can. You'll need it. All right, fair enough. We got some uplifting music going on as well. Things are looking up. Through here? Oh, this one's now open. Uh, where do we need to go? Find pods, blueprints. Research lab 2. That would be in the research wing, I would imagine. Lab 1 and lab 3. Where the hell is lab 2, though? Pharma pharmaceutical nanotechnology. Wow. Hey, I'm still waiting in research lab 2, by the way. When you have a moment. Soon. Yeah, I'm on it. Girl is very, uh, or this woman, oh, very impatient. Uh, testing lab. Uh, through here. Ooh, research lab too. This here. And the structured materials for medical applications. Francis Dawson. From himself. Okay, we are now recording. It is the 14th of September 2024. The time is 10.08 a.m. I am speaking with participant 67, James Hargreaves, as part of the NARAC study. I am Dr. Francis Dozon, neurological researcher at Bradwell Research and Development Amesbury. So, I just need to go through some formalities. Um, are you close? Procedure. We haven't got all. Oh, yeah, sure. nice. Sudoku magazine. James, take as long as you need. On the record that you volunteered for this study of your own volition and understand the associated risks and benefits of taking part in such a medical trial. Um, yes I did. D do. And that you read, understood and signed the non-disclosure agreement about the trial you are going to be participating in. Uh, yes. Lifelong, no saying anything about the trial or this building to anyone. Exactly. Do you have any questions you want me to answer before we begin? 
Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> okay, well, you can ask me anything that comes to mind as we go. Dr. Paletti will be leading you through a simple procedure today, really just for us to collect some control data. Uh, oh, okay. He'll probably make some terrible jokes, so I'm going to apologise in advance for that. Oh, oh, that's okay. Dr. Dawson, Dr. Paletti is at the door. Perfect timing. Let him in. James, I'll catch up with you after and make sure you've got everything you need, okay? Thanks, Dr. Dozon, but you can call me Francis. Hi, James. If you'd follow me, please. Well, it looks like they were hitting it off, eh? Let's uh, check the, the other lock. It is... Um, bum, 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 um, 18... 23 on Friday the 27th of September 2024. This week we received a new version of the patient blueprint for the NARAC study as per the request of the board of directors. This one is water soluble and can be absorbed in the small intestine. From next week we'll be switching all participants over to a measured dose in their morning beverages. However, a placebo injection shall be continued for the sake of participant expectation. We will continue tests as usual to measure the effectiveness of the new blueprint and absorption method. If it works, well, it's a huge step forward. <sighs> it's Friday, the 4th of October, 2024, 10.50 a.m. I'm on my way to a meeting with Melissa Bradwell. It's a meeting about the NARIC study. No idea what. I'm very nervous. Oh, I really need to start going to the gym again. Whew. Hey, Chloe, I've got a meeting with Melissa. Yep, 11 a.m. I'll let her know you're here. Guide, can you notify Miss Bradwell that Dr. Dawson is here? Thank you. Francis, please come through. Did Chloe offer you a drink? I just... Chloe, get me a coffee, the usual, and... Oh, nothing for me, thank you. Okay then, follow me. So I'll keep this as brief as possible. I know you're very busy at the moment. I'm really happy with all the progress you're making with the NARAC tests. However, I do have some slight concerns. The participants. They've been raised as a potential security breach risk. And given the sensitive nature of the study, I don't want to take any chances. So I want their monitoring up to 24 hours a day. I don't think that's necessary. We have them under a very strict NDA and... We have the means to, don't we? Well, of course, but... Then make it happen. What is this actually about? <sighs> Fine. Turn off the recorder. I'm not. Francis. Ooh. Some, like, secrets going on here. Let's keep looking at these logs. It's 2.36 a.m. on Tuesday the 12th of November, 2024. We're getting really close to a positive response. With the latest updates, I've been able to bring the substance interference down to an almost imperceptible level. It's now only obvious if you get hit with a large dose in one go. It's amazing, really, the way substance is able to interact with the human body the ways in which these entities can interact with each other. I don't even know how it's doing it, but it is. If our next round of experiments are successful, we will truly be taking the medical field decades into the future, a future we didn't even realize was possible. And I guess that's why I'm still awake at half two in the morning. We're going to change the world and it's so close at hand. Okay, it's the... The, the guide time and date, please. The time is 1503, 9th of December, 2024. Okay, thank you. We all ready to go in there? Nearly. You comfortable? Headphones good? Yeah, we're good. All right, we're good to go. Okay, James, we're going to show you some video clips. This is just to relax you and open your brain up to stimulus. So relax, then we can start the test. You think this is going to work? Well, he trusts us enough at this point that hopefully he just relaxes and we can see what's going on. How do you know his brain is even going to respond? Grabbed a lot of stuff from his file and from our sessions together. I know how he responds to various things verbally. We just need to see if we can replicate it. Okay, I'm all set up. Dim the lights and play. Seriously, are we settling in for movie night or something? Nostalgia at this point is our friend. Very high emotional and physiological response. Look, 
Look at those readings. Oh, oh, whoa. Okay, let me see if I can tune in. Wait. Oh my gosh. I can hear it. Turn it off. I think we cracked it, Frank. Dr. Francis Dozon, time is now 1511. We have tuned into the frequency being broadcast from participant 67 without any direct contact equipment. Uh, what? I wonder what these uh, tests were uh, for. Are they trying to... Uh, like, create a very tiny broadcasting device implanted into a person? Is this what they're testing for? Uh, what does this have... Like, what repercussions have these have in the medical fields? Oh, so many questions still. The NARAC study? Uh... God, what the frick? Ah, oh, so many questions still. So little answers. 